Hello, what's up, YouTube photographer Ronix with another tutorial. And this is going to be a very short tutorial. And in this tutorial, we're going to be learning how we can easily process or color grade your images in Photoshop or using the camera raw filter. And you can see a quick before and after for just color grading of this very image. So you can use the same techniques when you're trying to color grade your outdoor images. And if at all, this is always what you have always wanted to get, you can simply hit the like button because when you do that, it helps you to push and recommend this tutorial to many people out there. So just press that, hit the like button on this video. I'm just going to come right here and I'm just going to reset the image. And after resetting, the very first thing you have to do or take into consideration before doing any color grading on the images is simply correcting the lighting and contrast issues within your photo. So I'm just going to come right here to my highlights and I simply drop the highlights down and you can see that makes the face a little bit more better or exposed well so i'm just going to also come to the whites and also drop the whites down you can see just a quick before after just doing that and now the image looks better so i'll come to the contrast and add some contrast to the image around eight now open up the shadows slightly to around six so I'll just take my blacks a little bit down to add that tiny bit of contrast to the image. At least the before and after. And when you feel like this is okay for you, you can stop right here. But if at all you want to handle the colors existing within the image even more, you're just going to come and simply scroll down to our color mixer tool within the camera filter. So if at all you have Lightroom, you can as well follow the same steps. So right now what we're going to be handling first, we're going to first of all handle our hues. So hues, as you're changing the hues of a given color, for example, if I told you are changing the hues of the reds towards the left hand side, you're going to be making the reds like on the magenta side. So for example, if I told I'm to use the yellows, if I told I'm to hue the yellows towards the left hand side or towards the negative side, I'm going to be making the yellows look like a color on top of it. So if at all I'm hewing the yellows towards the right hand side, I'll be making the yellows look like a color just below it, which is the green. So that is what I'm going to be doing. So for this case, I feel like I don't want the yellows within as a green. So I'll just come and make the yellows look green. So that is going to make the model stand out. So by taking up the slider, I'll be making the yellows look more like the color below it which is the green color and i'll make the greens also look a little bit more on the aqua side by taking up the green slider but that is going to make the greens a little bit more intense or oversaturated so after doing that i'm just going to come to the top of the model and in order to do that i'm just going to come to the reds and i'll make the reds a little bit more on the orange side I just want the top to complement uh, the skin tone and overall colors. So after doing that, I'm just going to come to my blues and I'll make the blues a little bit more on the aqua side. So like I said, when you're taking up the blue color towards the left hand side, you're making that color look like the color on top of it. So after I've done all this, the next step is going to be the saturation. So like I said, the green color is too much. Or it is overly saturated. So what I would do, I just, I would just come and desaturate the green color all the way to around negative 80. And this looks okay. And now the model is standing out even more. So I could take this a little bit lower. Then I'll come to my luminous. And since I want the skin tone to have a little bit more of the contrast within it, I'll just come to the oranges remember skin tone usually has prominent oranges so i just come to the luminous and luminous is the brightness or darkness of a given color so i'm just going to come to the oranges and when you take a slider of a given color towards the left hand side which is the negative side you're going to be making that color darker and taking it up towards the right hand side you're going to be making that color brighter so i'm just going to come to my oranges and i'm just going to take the oranges down to add contrast to her skin tone. So this is okay. And you can set it before and after for just color grading within the camera filter. So you can as well use this step. Like I said, if at all you have Lightroom, 
So this is what I've been able to achieve, just color grading this within the camera filter. And when you've done doing that, you can just come and add a tiny bit of clarity to the image to add a little bit more of the definition and also add some tiny bit of texture to your image. So when you're done doing that, you can say pick before and after before, after for just the color grading and color or contrast correction within Photoshop or Camaro, or if I told you using Lightroom as you're following along with this very tutorial. So when you're done doing that, simply come and click on open. Don't click on done because that is going, it is not going to save the or open the image into Photoshop. So just come and simply click on open. And the other trick that you can use when you hold down the alternate option key on the keyboard, you can open this as a smart object within Photoshop. And you can as well come back and correct if at all you have gone overboard uh, with the color grading. So you can as well hold on the alternate if at all you want to open this photo as a smart object within Photoshop. And you click, you hold on the alternate and simply click open copy. And it's going to open that photo as a smart object within Photoshop. And you can as well come back and start from these previous adjustments that you had applied to your image as you're doing the color grading. But when, when you just simply click on open, it means that you are not going to be able to control these or change these values later on. So that was just some side kind of advice. So when you're done doing this, you can simply hit open or you can as well open it as a smart object within Photoshop. So this is a quick before and after, before, after. So th this is how you can easily edit and color grade your outdoor images within Photoshop, Camaro, or even Lightroom itself. And if I told you I've learned something or two from this tutorial, I request that you hit the like button on this video so that YouTube can push and recommend this video to many people out there. Ronix from Ronix Photography. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in yet more amazing tutorials. And don't forget to keep practicing and also keep creating.